Hello internet, so I'm here with yet another audiobook review. Um, I'm going to be doing The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and The Girl Who Played with Fire and The Girl Who Kicked the, the Hornet's Nest. Um, I listened to these three books whilst I was at um, Latitude. Um, but I started The Girl Who Plays with Fire. Uh, no, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo a little bit before I went to latitude and over the course of the weekend um while i probably should have been going to see bands and do other stuff and listen to comedy i actually listened to these audiobooks because i just got into them so much um and i, I finished off the last one um the girl who kicked the hornet's nest um basically last night um which doesn't mean anything to you, because this isn't going up today, so... <laughs> uh, basically, I finished the whole set over the course of about nine days. Um, and they are very good books. I mean... I've watched the girl who played... Uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo at the cinema um, when it came out in... What was that? 2011? 2010? Um, and having read the book, well, listened to the book, there's only, like, two bits of it that vaguely resemble the film, um, and that's the rape scene. Um, and if you don't know about the rape scene, I'm sorry, you're about to hear far too much about it, but, um, <laughs> yeah, it, it was... In the movie, they made a great monstrosity out of this rape scene that wasn't really covered in all that much detail in the book. Um, yeah, the the actions were... Mm, me and chewing gum. The actions were described as an outline of what happened. Um... There was uh, bits and pieces, but it didn't go into the graphic detail that the f the film obviously had to show in order to show the same bits of information. Um, and it was rather uh, rather devastating actually because because of that scene, I didn't actually get uh, didn't actually want to watch the rest of the movie. I was heaving. Um, and it, it wasn't a good feeling watching that bit of the movie. It was, it wasn't necessary in order to show off the rest of the story. Um, now obviously, obviously I've now listened to the whole series and, um, that those scenes come back as a, a big part of the last book but again they're only covered in the vaguest of terms they're not explicit i mean that while it says she was raped and um certain things happened it doesn't go into the details of exactly how she was feeling and the, how she was screaming and um, what she did to fight back, and it, it it wasn't it wasn't necessary. You just from the fact that it went, uh, she was raped. It didn't need to go into the fact uh, into any of those details, which the film did, and it 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 it, it, it was disastrous to the effect of the movie. Um, and the the books really end on a entirely different note as well to the the, the movie that I saw because I, I only saw the Daniel Craig movie I didn't see the um the, the Swedish version of the book uh, of the of the movies um I don't do subtitles very well in the same way I don't do books very well so um so I, I listen uh, uh, the, the movie kind of ends on um good stuff and 
the fact that um, Lisbeth and Mikhail sort of are riding off into the sunset after um, catching a serial killer um, uh, on a sort of good note. But actually, that's not how the the book ends. The book the book's more about the journalism that's involved and um, the the whole chasing after the serial killer wasn't to do with the serial killer. It was to do with getting evidence for another story and it, it's the, the the journalism story is the far more interesting bit in my opinion and uh, and i know i i don't want to give too many spoilers away because it is such a good book and i do really recommend that you um you read it or listen to it um but it it it, it was it doesn't focus on the the, the really nasty stuff. It, that's just incidental to the rest of the story. And um, even the book says at the, at the end that um, it, it turns out that this wasn't a story about um, um, what was it? It wasn't a story about spies or uh, giving stuff away again or. or um, or conspiracy theories, or this or that. It was just a story about um, when it comes down to it, the human rights, uh, and yeah, it, I completely agree with that. It wasn't about all the detail and all the sex. It was about the way that um, one person was treated and the way that. Um, a journalist managed to get involved in her life and um, make it better um, through one thing or another. Um, so yeah, I, I really recommend that you go and read the book. It's you know, re read the series. It's the Millennium series by Steve Larson, and the the book is narrated really, really well. I haven't got my Kindle in front of me, so I can't find out all the details for you on that fun but um it is a really really good book and I, I suggest that if you get a chance you buy it and have a read or listen um and yeah that that's that um uh, i've really enjoyed l listening to it i'm probably going to listen to it again um in fact, talking of books I want to listen to again, I, I'm going to go and listen to um, the End of Shadow series again, and I'm going to give you a review of that, because um, the specific parts of it that I think are um, really apt politically, and I would like to discuss them with you. Um, so I'm giving you a heads up that um, the, the End of Shadow series by... Um, Orson Scott Card is on my to-do list, and I rec really, really recommend that um, you go and read that one as well. Um, I will be do doing each book individually because um, they are they they have their their own merits to them and their their own progression, and it, it's really. It is really necessary to show certain bits of them, and it, it will take me a long time to review the whole lot because it's such a, a a brilliant series, and I will be going into massive amounts of spoilers with them. So, um, I recommend that if you don't like spoilers, you either don't watch them or you read them before I start talking about them. Um, there, there, there's po politics involved, and it, I will probably make half a dozen movie uh, yeah half a dozen um videos out of the four i think it's four books um because i will cover um the political side separately probably in um my, my video blog journal rather than my uh, audio books reviews um so yeah that that's all for today um i suggest that you um, go on Twitter, my email should be in the link below, um, I've got 
Ask FM as well. So if you've got anything to ask me, you can ask me there. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and that's everything. Johnny DL, out. <laughs>